um, and that's where it all kind of started and I just wanted to expand on that and take it more into like the special effects as opposed to my makeup so that's why I came here. In my sixth year of high school, high school I did like quite a range of stuff, I did like fine art, so I did like an advanced higher which is like the, the highest level of art that you can reach in school and then like stuff like photography I was interested in as well but I also did like um, an open university course and um, like modern studies and stuff like that but I didn't go to college. I came here knowing that I was good at fine art but not knowing anything about like 3D sculpture or how to apply my fine art skills in a different way that wasn't drawing and painting. I, well I went to the prosthetics event in 2017 so I was like 16 and then I had a look at other arts unis because I was like interested in fine art but I felt like when I'd met some of the lecturers from this uni, it was more, it felt more like a hands-on experience. And like, I was gonna apply the skills that I, I had learned in like a different way. You know what I mean? Um, it's when I first saw, when I came from my open day, and I went out pretty much walked into the studio, it was the first thing that I was like, wow. Because it was just such a nice like, community, and everything was so open. It just felt really nice. And then when I was looking for like this course and stuff, it was literally the best one I saw out of other unis that I'd looked at, um, because I was really wanting to focus on the uh, like mold making and stuff that I hadn't really done before. I think there's good like diversity within the staff team. There's like people, there's different people do different things, and but you you do get to know like everybody in their own different way. I think like, especially the Discord has been helpful this year um, and I don't feel like there's any topics that I couldn't approach people about. And no, we get so much access to the staff team, they're always really approachable and it's one of those things that if you can't send an email at five o'clock in the evening, they'll still try and get back to it as soon as possible. It's not sort of a, you only get four hours a day and then they are offline or whatever, it's really good. I feel like, Compared to like some of the other, some compared to some of my other friends that go to uni, I think that we've got like the most accessible staff in the world. Like I know people that go to uni and don't speak to their lecturers and don't like their lecturers don't even know them by name or or like don't even know what they're interested in. But here it's almost like people it's it's less like your staff and more like your like workshop like members of a workshop, if you get what I mean. I feel like they give you enough freedom to kind of get on with it yourself, but no one is hesitant to come over and help you and give you as much advice as possible if you're struggling with something. Um, but they're also great at like pushing you to try and do it to your best of your ability. It's super approachable. The sense of community is great. Like, I feel that we were all like a big like friendship group opposed to just being like students and when we could all work in the studio together it was so nice because um, you could always be able to help you out and there's always people around you and uh, yeah, it's just a really nice sense of community. I think in our class it's really good because we're because we're quite a small year group. Everybody has to get on and everybody, you know, likes each other and if anybody has any problems they're usually rooted out pretty quickly. So I don't feel like I don't feel like anybody in my class is unapproachable. Um, there's actually so much more than I ever imagined there would be. Um, with the industry talks we have um, and like portfolio surgeries and stuff, like I wasn't expecting to have this much interaction with industry people and it's great because it gives me a chance to actually look into what I want to do properly without just having to like read about it. It's so nice having actual interaction with people um, that are in the jobs you want to go into. Yeah, I feel like when I think back to the way that I was in like first and second year industry week, I probably was less confident and less like, I, I wouldn't feel as, as comfortable approaching industry people, but as like third year came along and stuff and we had like more exposure, um, I feel like it's, it's made things easier and I've started to notice that I'm 
emailing people myself and not having to like go through a middleman to sort of get to an industry link. I'm more confident just sending an email myself because I want to, do you know what I mean? I don't feel as nervous approaching industry people and through the industry weeks I've approached um, like the speakers that we've had, like personally, um, to help with our projects. So I think that that was like a good segue into becoming more confident approaching industry people in general. Even in all the projects we do and stuff, we're like encouraged to go and speak to industry professionals and get advice from people. Okay, I'm working on FMP. Well, it's not FMP, it's like major project. Um, but I'm doing a wearable, so like my project has three parts. So it's like costume element, uh, jewellery kind of costume element, and then a wearable silicon glove. And that has like, the silicon glove itself is like the bulk of the project. And that includes more advanced mold making techniques, like collapsible cores and like fiberglassing and multi-part moulds, so that's what I'm focusing on at the minute. In my final major, uh, I've chosen to do an organic creature design, I can't tell that from myself. Um, so the big bulk of it is sculpting, and then I get to do mould making, then I get to cast it out, it's painting. So I've chosen this because it doesn't look with everything, because I'm painting. So 